Hello everyone and welcome to Tommy's Reptiles. In this video, we're gonna have to bring my green tree monitor to the vet, get him checked out. I have to catch my green tree monitor real quick because I want him to be tested for parasites and just have a, have a regular checkup. I'm gonna catch him, put him in this plastic tote and then drive on to the vet. That was easy. Got him in there. All right. Just waiting on the bed. They took my monitor in the back room to check him and his fecal sample. They're gonna come back in and teach me how to give my lizard a shot. But I pulled the plunger back because they're gonna go in the freezer when you get home. Okay. So it's so then keep it. ready until, or keep frozen until ready to use. Okay. Okay, then you just pull one out like that for two seconds because the volume's so little. Okay. And I now um, push the medication all the way up. The needle the be has the bevel, so it's like a shovel. Oh, so you see the fluid, like a little- Exactly, okay. so like that. Okay. You go into the muscle, which is right here, and you want to go bevel down bevel underneath down. the scale. Okay. Pull back the plunger always. If you get negative pressure like that, it means you're in the muscle. Okay. Go ahead and inject. All done. Okay. You might see blood after. Okay. Uh, not here's the vet bill. I'll be treating this lizard a lot over the next month. All right. Here's the reptile room currently with all this textured stuff all over the wall, but I just got back from the vet. And since I'm going to have to take this green tree monitor out numerous times a day, I'm going to strip everything out of its enclosure and just make it bare bones. And uh, so I'm just going to do this one today and then I'll probably do this one tomorrow. So I'll show you when I'm done with that. So this is the setup I'll be going with while I treat the green tree monitor. Just has a bunch of climbs in it and it will be easy for me to find them and catch them. Now I'll be showing you guys what I have to do every single day, two to three times a day, which is take this solution which helps clean the inside and outside of his mouth out. The vet had to remove an abscess that was located in the back of the lizard's mouth and it was filled with pus. It was pretty nasty, but I'm so glad the vet found it and got rid of it. The vet instructed me to hold the lizard kind of upside down when I flush his mouth out and spray this on the outside of his mouth just so he doesn't swallow it. You guys can see that I have the monitor now and I'm just gonna clean that wound, which is that little bit of mouth rot on the side of his mouth. It obviously sucks doing this, but it has to be done. And this is the ointment the vet told me to apply to his wound on his mouth, and I should be applying this two to three times a day. So I'm gonna do that then put the lizard back in this enclosure and leave him alone for a while. I'm going to glob it on a couple q-tips to make it easy to apply so I can put it right on and then he can be on his way. Okay, Just maybe like that I think. Okay, let's get the patient out. Treat him and send him home. Yeah, he's, he's done with this stuff. One more little thing, and then you can go on your merry way. Hold on, buddy. Okay, turn around. Actually, I gotta switch hands. All right, there we go, that's perfect. Now I'm taking that ointment and doing my best to get it all over that wound right there, all in the wound, but keep it away from his eyes, obviously. Some results came back from the vet and it turns out this monitor has Giardia, so I have to treat that with an oral dewormer for the next five days. And I'll show you how I do that also. Since this monitor is probably super stressed out, he's not really eating great, so I'm having to force feed him during this process. 
which makes it easy for me to shoot that oral medicine into his mouth. I don't think this monitor is ever going to trust me again after this entire process, but what can I do? I have to take care of him, I have to do my best to make sure that he's healthy, and you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. It's actually a really good sign that he's not whipping the food out of his mouth, he's just keeping it there, almost like he wants to eat it, but there's been a couple times where he just spits it out and drops it on the floor. And this is the perfect opportunity for me to squirt in that dewormer which actually helped push the food down. I didn't mean for that to happen. I wanted him to swallow it on his own, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna wait a few minutes to make sure that he swallowed it properly and everything's fine. And now for the worst part. It's been three days, so I have to give this lizard an injection. I've never done this before, but I have to do what the vet told me and my wife is gonna help me. And she is also very stressed out and scared. I cleared the air out of the needle. It's time to give my monitor lizard an injection. I did exactly what the vet told me. I injected with the bevel side up. I pushed it in under one of the scales. And after I injected, I massaged his arm and put him back in his enclosure. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching Tommy's Reptiles.